Hey guys, just got to my hotel room here in Queenstown. My EWS race in Rotorua was two days ago, and it was a hell of a race. Um, it was definitely a great learning experience. The first thing that I learned was that filming during practice and racing is a really big challenge. I'm a fully self-supported athlete, so I don't have anyone out on course helping me with logistics or transportation or nutrition or anything like that. So I have a lot of stuff on my mind while I'm racing, so I apologize if there's not more footage. Um, I think a lot of my footage is going to focus on in between the races, and I'll get what I can during practice and racing. This race was... The conditions were gnarly. As I'm sure you guys have seen, it was pouring rain, muddy, and it was a really big challenge. I started the day in high hopes, but here's a little recap of how it went for me. Rolling into the event first thing in the morning. And here they're attaching our GPS tracking units. And now we're going to roll up on stage to get sent off for the race. Yeah, I'll get excited. Absolutely. <laughs> so I definitely had a big smile on my face before we got started. Um, after they sent us off, it was about an hour and a half climb up to the top of the first stage. The weather, it held off for most of the morning. But maybe about a half hour before we reached the top, the rain started to come down. So I didn't know what the track was going to look like, but I dropped into stage one, hoping that it would ride like it did in practice. But the greasy tracks were just completely unpredictable, like nothing I'd ever ridden before. So this mud had just enough clay in it that it would stick to your tires. As you rolled down, everything would get gummed up, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you'd hit the ground. I went over this route and then just smacked. Good way to start, eh? The GoPro footage is hard to watch. That first stage should have taken me about four minutes, and it took me ten minutes to get down. That was so bad. Oh my god. I did half of it on my ass. I'm not going to lie, that first stage, I could not stay on my bike. Uh, my tires would hit the mud and I'd slip out and fall over. And I got to the bottom of the stage almost in tears. I wanted to quit the race. I was really discouraged. Um, but, you know, I just kind of did a mental check-in and said, you know what, this is not going to be my day, but I need to take this as a learning experience. And, you know, I'm not going to get a good result today, so I might as well try to have some fun. So after wasting some time at the bottom, trying to collect myself, I started sprinting up to try to make my second transfer. Um, there was about another 40 minute climb up to the top of the second stage and I figured I'm just going to do my best and learn what I can today. In this clip, you can really see my inexperience with the mud just caused me to not be able to keep my bike rolling. Everything would just get clogged up and caked with so much mud that I would just stop and tip over. You can see how muddy everything is here. I just wasn't holding enough speed. These ruts were really difficult for me to ride. I had both feet unclipped. I was kind of just stepping my way through them and then trying to hold as much momentum as I could, but just failing. So this next clip, I really want you to listen to the sound of the mud. The mud was rotor deep. It was clogging up the tires. My tires wouldn't even spin. I'd lose momentum and then my bike would just completely stop. So stage after stage, it was just this demoralizing, deep mud. Got The struggle was real out there. Dealing with the mud, I would pick up momentum and then slip out. Um, eventually I would lose momentum and my bike would stop and get clogged up with mud. At first I was really nervous and scared and didn't know how to deal with it. But then I just decided, you know what, I'm going to smile, I'm going to have a good time. Any day on the bike is a good day. I started messing around with spectators and slapping hands and just eventually, you know, having as much fun as I could 
under the circumstances. I was riding my bike for about five hours by the end of stage four. I hadn't been eating, I hadn't been drinking enough. I was sprinting up to the top of the stages to try to make up time after losing so much dealing with the mud. And I bonked on that last climb. I was just feeling really rough. Had about another hour climb to get to the very top of the mountain. I made it to the very top of the fifth transfer stage and just missed my cutoff time. They wouldn't let me drop. So I was a little bit gutted. You know, like a lot of competitors, the, the conditions really got the best of me that day. And it was hard not to be able to drop. Um, but rather than let it ruin my day, one of the, the course marshals, he pointed me in the direction of another trail to get down. And I had an awesome ride down from the top of the mountain on a super fun flow trail that was in great condition. So I just, it was a good consolation prize. I got a really good ride in at the end of the day and headed back to the house. So I just got back to the house after the hardest race of my life. I didn't quite get to finish all the stages. I missed the cutoff for five, but made it all the way to the top of the mountain, tried my best to get there. But man, conditions were gnarly. As you can see from my bike, uh, there wasn't a lot of riding, there's a lot of sliding, but after disaster struck on the first stage, I just decided that the only thing that I was able to have is some fun. So I had a ton of fun out there. I had a lot of fun just trying to stay on the bike, and I'm going to call today a win. I'm going to clean up and then check back in with you guys. One of the best parts about being self-supported is character building opportunities. like. Washing my bike in the pouring rain in the morning after a race when all I want to do is sleep and relax. <laughs> and now it's time to take the bike apart and put it in the bag for my flight to Queenstown. All my gear is soaking wet and I'm trying to figure out what I should do with it before I get on the plane, but I think, I think it's going to be some soggy times. Soggy, muddy times. <laughs> After about six hours on the bike that day, I did my absolute best and I learned a lot. I know now that I really have to practice riding in the mud. I uh, have to you know, continue to practice keeping my mental game on point when conditions are rough. And I had a good day on the bike. I'm going to use this going forward and I think it's going to make me a better rider. I'm grateful to have participated in such a challenging event, the event that many people said was the most difficult race of their lives. I know it certainly was the most difficult race of my life and now I'm on my way uh, and next week is the EWS in Tasmania so I'm hoping to redeem myself a little bit and let's everybody cross our fingers, no rain.